Hello everyone. So in this video I want to show you how to get started with Profound.js very very easily and very very quickly. So of course the main benefit of Profound.js is the connectivity to IBMI and being able to have all these API that talk to IBMI and you'll eventually you'll want to install Profound.js on your IBMI and of course uh, all of those instructions for doing that are available in our documentation page. You can follow that and you can take a look at that. But uh, the point of this video is that the quickest way to get started is just by installing it on your uh, desktop computer or on your laptop and you have as a developer the ability to play around with it and, and work with it without having to um, have it installed on your IBMI just yet. So that's what this video is going to show you. So the first step in this process is to make sure that Node.js is installed on your computer. You do this simply by going to nodejs.org and downloading the installer. This is a very simple process. Uh, so make sure you do that. And once that's done, you can install Profound.js just by typing a command on a command line. Now this can be as simple as going to a Windows command prompt. Um, if you prefer a different shell, console, uh, go ahead and use that. I prefer git bash, so I'm going to use uh, git bash for this process here. Uh, just to make things easier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and uh, go into the desktop and just install Profound.js on my desktop for the purpose of this demonstration. So the steps are as follows. First you want to create the directory for Profound.js and I can just do this with the command and I'm going to call the directory Profound.js but you can call it whatever you want really. So I'm going to create the directory and I'm going to go into that directory and then I'm going to type in the command npm install profound.js. Now real quick, what is npm? That stands for node package manager and um, this is something that comes with node. You know, the, the command is already available if you installed node and the node package management is a repository of all kinds of packages that you can install and profound.js is published as just one of those packages. So go ahead and press enter here and this may take a few seconds as it connects to the NPM servers and starts downloading the package uh, but eventually what will happen here is it'll start installing Profound.js and it'll ask you uh, just a couple of questions to complete the installation. So here it goes and the first thing I ask you for is uh, where is your Profound UI static files directory and the default here is htdocs. Now there are really two options here. If you uh, are an existing Profound UI user, if you have it installed on your IBMI, simply type in uh, the path, the HTTP path to your IBMI and the port number. So in my case, I have Profound UI installed on Power8 uh, on port 8080. Now if you don't have that installed or if you've not used Profound UI in the past, that's not a problem, then I would just recommend uh, leaving it uh, with the default. So you can press enter here and basically what you've said is htdocs is my default. This is the folder that I'm going to use for my static files. Uh, next, it's going to ask you the, for the port number. So where do you want to serve Profound.js applications from? Uh, the default port number is 8081. You can go ahead and press enter if you want to keep the default or just type in a different port number. Uh, so now, this is the last question really before the installation is complete. It just says, okay, I see that you've specified htdocs as your directory, but I, you, know, you don't have that there. You didn't put anything in htdocs. So it basically says, should I go ahead and create the directory and download a copy of Profound UI static files? So you can just go ahead and hit enter and it'll start the download. And this process takes um, you know, about a minute or so. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and we'll come back after it's done. All right, welcome back. So as you can see, the installation here completed. Now you'll see some other messages. I wouldn't worry about uh, the messages that are warnings. So you'll see things like that the readme file is not there and so forth. These are just warnings. NPM is particular about that, but you can always go back and do that later within your project. Uh, when you created the project this time, you know, it was an empty folder. Now you'll see that you know the important thing is that the installation completed and you uh, we added 161 packages. Now you may ask why 161? You installed one package but you got 161. Well that's simply because NPM and Node.js in general uh, rely on packages and these packages may rely on other packages and those packages may rely on more packages. So 
even though you installed one package in total, you installed 161 packages. So what now? Now that you've installed Profound.js, how do you get going with it? How do you get started? Well, you want to type in the command node space start and you hit enter. That starts the Profound.js server now that it's running. And the quickest way to see whether everything's installed correctly, you would simply go ahead and run some of the sample programs. So I would recommend going to localhost colon 8081 and let's try connect4 first. Connect4 is one of the sample programs that we ship. It's a simple uh, four in a row battle connect four type of game so you can see if you can play that if it's moving along if, if you're able to play the game then you know that uh, everything is functioning properly uh, another thing that you can try is to go to localhost colon 8081 slash node designer and that should bring up the visual designer this is where you can uh, build your interface with so you can play around with that if this is working okay and there are no glitches then you know that the installation completed okay you can even go ahead and open one of the sample programs or one of the sample screens in this case so it's, we, we ship PJS samples that's our samples directory so you can open connect4 for example and that's what the screen uh, looks like now the next thing that I would recommend that you do is you just simply go to your desktop or wherever you install profound.js and look around and look to see what's over there. The main folder that you're going to be working with is modules. This is where your application modules go. So you can go into it. We already provide a PGS samples uh, directory in there. And you can then go ahead and take a look at some of the files in there, some of the sample code that, uh, that ships with it. So here's Connect4. You can take a look at the code and analyze it and, and debug it and so forth. So there you have it. This is how you get started with Profound.js. Thank you.